Hey uh, folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Children of Eden Edition, or maybe it should be Child of Eden, because we've only got Eve, no more Adam! <sighs> New day, uh, apparently changes to Host Valley, it's quite cool, you can set prices for guest beds now. I don't know if we'll use that, I mean, making money is kind of neat. Up, down, no fee right now. <laughs> Go down, <laughs> pay people to stay. Um... I don't know. Guests renting this bed. Oh, so they do get a mood penalty. But it's not much. I don't know. Let's set it to 30 silver per day. We weren't we weren't selling the guests anything, which is um, that pop up <laughs> makes me think that uh, you know because one of the other things in there is guests pay less for things that are for sale here. It it makes it sound like maybe it was abusable to make a whole bunch of I was gonna say caps. I've been playing a lot of Fallout lately, uh, a bunch of silver by uh, by selling the things that way. But we're gonna try this. We'll we'll set it to thirty and see what happens. So we're still gonna keep this offline for now because our colony has shrunk somewhat. Now one of the things um, this is the first video that I've recorded since, well, I'm, this is actually, it, it, okay, a little pause there. The series is completely caught up. If I if I don't post this episode today, there'll be a day without some RimWorld. Um, but it does mean it's given me a chance to, we've had some great discussions on Discord about the, what am I looking for? The mechanics of armor piercing, which is quite cool. Um, so first of all, I don't think, I don't know if the gun themselves have, there you go. Uh, no, that's melee armor penetration. Melee armor penetration. Okay, so I think it's probably just the ammunition, which right here. Uh, I don't see the penetration rate. So, that's... what? What? Alright, let me grab you again. Let me make sure you have your weapon equipped. Is it... is it on a different page? Is it on our info page? Because apparently the thing is... okay. Let, let's move forward for a second here. Um, you have to have a penetration value of at least half the armor value to have a chance of penetrating. So the mechanoids have a armor value, uh, like for, for sharp, like, you know, bullets, basically, of one. So we need at least 0.5 armor piercing to overcome that. Wait, okay, so you have a different weapon here. All right. This weapon. And again, it's probably mostly due to the bullets <clears throat> yeah and that's just that's just smashing okay but what about your bullets where's your armor piercing value uh-huh uh-huh like I'm not crazy, right? It doesn't actually have the numeric info on there? What? I feel like I must just be blind. We got a machine gun here, which should actually have more piercing capabilities. Like, I'm no... Okay, we'll check again the stats page over here. Is it different if they get drafted? Well, I mean, they got their reload speed. Aiming time, weapon handling. We've got all kind of calculations over on the right. Okay, let me draft you, Nana. Just in case that changes. Final that. I mean, okay, that's lovely and calculated. Where the hell's the gun? Um, calculations. Again, I would expect it to be on the bullets because the bullets are the things that that do the penetration. But there's no description of their damage. 
or piercing. I must, I, I mean, I feel like I must be missing it, except at this point, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing that I am. Anywho, yeah, we need to, we just need better, better weapons for when that comes up again. <clears throat> um, if we can get the charge weapons going, the explosives will help as well. Actually, out of curiosity, the grenades, do we have any info about some of that over here? Uh... I mean, unless it's, like, I gotta mouse over and look at some things on the right, but... Now, even this doesn't have any any damage stats for the grenade itself. This is the making. Parry. Melee armor penetration. Value. This is if we're punching with it. I mean, unless it's just really... Unless it's not listed correctly? I don't know. Anyway... Yeah, we're, we're just going to have to make better guns. That's fine. Also, the people have spoken. We're going to keep Oliver around. They said, someone in the chat said, I'd rather have uh, Oliver, you know, die defending his family than be sold. So, all right, we're not going to sell Oliver. At some point, he'll probably die. And I was like, oh, but maybe we'll just, you know, we'll send him somewhere so that he can live there and be happy uh, instead of dying. But no, people would rather have him die than be than sent away. He is our official mascot, so there we go. And yet, we've got the cold going on right now. Actually, I probably should have attempted an early harvest of anything harvestable to get some a few more goods, but yeah. we got this cold snap going on here, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, actually, we have very little hay. I mean, we've got a little bit more stored over there to make into um, extra silage or kibble or something. Well, that's about it. I'm actually kind of worried about the food situation. I think what we might do is cull our mufflos a little bit. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Now, um, what's the age of these? Age three years. This is kind of an annoying way to do it. It'd be nice if in this pop-up it had it. And this mufflo is five years. Okay, so I'm going to call the older male muffalo. And then... It's weird that muffalo one is the... I don't know. Must have to do with the, the order of things. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and cull a few of these before winter comes in. I know it's kind of sad, and of course we can get muffalo milk and things like that, but yeah, we're going to go and just bring down the numbers of scooch. We've done plenty of breeding pairs. That's going to be okay. And actually, wildlife, <clears throat> do we have anything huntable? We do have some more mufflos out there. So we're going to go ahead and flag them to be hunted. There's also another leopard here that we may want to purge. <clears throat> Excuse me, before we have any problems. Um... Can just do a mass recruit. All right, Eve is no longer hiding in her room. I mean, she's super miserable right now, but... And we have an eclipse. Yeah, we really don't have enough power. Ever since I got rid of the extra wind turbine. Election is now underway. Got interrupted last time. From... We were attacked, I think. So hopefully that won't happen again. All right, you're going to go and put on a parka over here. Yeah, we have no wind <clears throat> and no saved up power. I did... Oh, yeah, I remember I trashed some of those batteries for an emergency, too. Um, I could just set up a wind turbine somewhere else. Maybe. Because I, I think we can fill up these batteries. We just need a few days in a row of decent production. Yeah, we're fine now with the wind. I don't know. I won't freak out yet. We do have, um, Geothermal is in the order at some point. Dubs has won the election! Congratulations, Dub. Oh, good, we have Psychic Drone. That's, that's great, because you know what, uh, um, Eve needs is more negative stuff. Honestly, I don't think it matters, because I think she's sitting at zero mood all the time, regardless. So she's just gonna continuously snap. Can I, um... If I had a Cryo Sleep Casket, would this still tick down while she's in, uh, Cryo Sleep? Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my god. Everything is so terrible. Serious pain. Yeah. Um, what if I just uh, knock you out for a little while? And put you in a medically induced coma? We have Arquitec arms? How do we get Arquitec stuff? That's cool. Um...
Yeah, anesthetize, not euthanize. Gotta keep those words straight. I don't know how dangerous this is. I don't know if there's a risk of something going terribly wrong. Let's not do it. We'll let her we'll let her deal with her grief, you know? It's gonna have to be fine. Alright, so yes, we'll see what it's like with the silver. I mean, in theory, it's 150 silver per stay. Maybe maybe that's too high. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know yet if, if people are going to use these or not. These are still owned by the current visitors that were here when we came in. Disappointed with their stay. Had enough of you. Dang. And some more power shortages here. At night with no wind. I know, I know, I know. Um, let me turn this off temporarily. Because we do have some steel banked, and this is 700 watts. It's pretty crazy. We'll probably turn off a few more things. Muffler Revenge. We're fine. Oh. Oh, these guys actually shot over here. And maybe helped out. Done and done. Keep the meat going. We've got the gold ore that we can mine out at some point. Rare Thrumbos. Um, I don't think I'm going to take them with just seven. That's just one, though. I don't know, and everyone's miserable, and we have to leave the base, and we have some other things we want to do. Um, has this been flicked? Yeah, I guess so. Power grid needed. Or has it? I, I guess it must have. Yeah, alright. I didn't see it going on. I, could, I, know, I didn't remember if that icon there was the pending job or its offline job, so... I guess it's offline, so we'll use a little less power right now, and that's going to be good. This is still Eve, yeah. I mean, Eve's going to have a permanent um, almost break here. How you doing, Mr. Prisoner? Resistance remaining, almost gone. Okay. Is this my my kitchen bot who's just idle? Really? Nothing for you to cook? Oh, there's some more now. All right. Cold snap is over. Which doesn't really matter too much, but might impact some of our heating needs. Okay, that's still Eve. <sighs> And yeah, the Eclipse ending is going to help the power situation as Scooch. <clears throat> I think more batteries is actually maybe all we need. At some point, it would be nice to actually look at the uh, nicer batteries too, but I'm going to hold off for now. Still got them heal root over here. Not enough to be harvestable. And more there, and more there. Oh, do we have too much heal root going on? Hmm. Maybe. Um, Medicine-wise... That's not medicine, this is drugs. This is medicine. We have 77 herbal meds. That doesn't feel like too much. I mean, that feels like plenty for now, but it doesn't feel like too much. We'll let it keep going for now. I think we can use the herbal meds to make proper medicine and things too at our drug labs. Actually, um, oh, did we, we did research the uh, medicine making, didn't we? Mmm... Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. There's drugs. Oh no, we do not. We change the order around a little. Um, how do I feel about that? Well, I mean, I certainly want it in a queue again. Ultra Tech Medicine. Which is different from... I don't know. This isn't Glitter World Medicine, but what's Ultra Tech Medicine? It's cheap to research. I know. We'll throw it in the queue. Uh, after the rest. But yeah, a geothermal will, will <clears throat> add to comfort. I mean, really, again, a couple extra wind turbines and some more batteries, we'd be fine. But the move to geothermal is something we want to do, you know, regardless, right? We still have wood. We still have our janitor, which is nice. Although, he's also... Why are you, why are you training the boomalope? For tameness? I guess... Yeah, I guess we need to keep them tame. Otherwise, they'll revert to wild. And that's probably what's going on. They probably just, like, lose some of their tameness from time to time. Is I assume what's going on there. We got some visitors. Okay, we've got some items to trade. No one's staying in the bed yet. So the question will be, 
I mean, do they have enough silver for it? Does it matter if they've got silver on them or not? Oh, there we go. Well, someone's claimed a bed. There we go, another one over here. Maybe I should bring down the prices. Because if, if people aren't grabbing all of them, because maybe they don't have the money. Well, you've got that. There we go, more money. All right, no, it's working. Woo! And hopefully the stay can be great otherwise. Um, you have a statue in the room. What's the quality of the statue? It's good. All right, all right, all right. Uh, no other statues kicking around here. I don't even know if we have our statue maker still. Eve, how miserable are you? Very. Mm-hmm. Oh god, the psychic drone is really not helping, but I, I don't I don't think it's gonna make a difference one way or the other for Eve, whether the psychic drone exists. Alright, at least she can't snap in bed. And she will, you know, she's got her fiance. Maybe they can get some lovin'. I don't think I don't think that'll actually make enough of a difference either. But we can dream. Got some crops. Yeah, I'm not too worried food-wise. I mean, I'm happy we did a little more hunting. In theory, this should maintain it. We have to actually have got a lot of meals. Now, again, these numbers are a little bit misleading because they're not always real meals. No, they're, they're real food. We actually are, are fine uh, on that. I'm a little worried about the hay. That is the one thing. We got some kibble here, and I think we can keep making kibble through it with miscellaneous whatever. So that's going to be okay. I prefer to make it out of hay, but... All right, Leo is fully healed. That's our prisoner who's naked. Because I think Eve broke him out of prison at some point. And we're like, here's your punishment. We'll strip away all your clothes. Extreme break risk. Why? Hold on. Don't replant. It's freaking... No. Way too late to plant. Um, this allows sowing. It's all going to die from the cold. You didn't get this allowed, right? No, you did, actually. I want the ones outside to be disallowed. Charge bullets over here. I wonder if this, this bed rental thing is going to be too easy to make too much money. Watch it, like, be the next thing that gets nerfed. But I, it'll depend a lot on, on how people feel about things. Oh, you could be recruited two or three friends. Interesting. You only need three friends as well. You only need three, and you've got two. You know, let's just make this the default. Now, one of the things I think they changed is you don't auto-recruit any everyone. Now, it's this button here that says Force Recruit. We'll change to... Um, we'll change to... Oh, this valley's going down. Um, we'll change to, like, befriend or, or something like that. I, it was in that initial pop-up at the start of the video, when they can be recruited. So we've got to kind of pay attention. I, I'm hoping we'll get a pop-up for it. Let me wake up Newton so you actually get some food there. Whilst you're sleeping, you're in the day. Let's get you resync. Major break risk. Eve, minor break risk. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm surprised. I guess th there is a cooldown between breaks. I mean, even without the catharsis going on, there's some sort of internal cooldown, I think, for the, the breaks. Because otherwise, you'd expect Eve to have snapped completely. Uh, I mean, you're talking to the mayor over here, which is hopefully going to help a little bit. You're actually, your you're major, not severe. It's kind of impressive. I mean, the, uh, the psychic drone has gone away. Complaint to the mayor actually went down. Complaint to the ma mayor made me feel this way. So it didn't actually help. Awesome! It made you feel worse. Maybe it's not... Maybe Dubs isn't the very good mayor. I don't know who they decide to vote for. It might be based on friendships. One would hope social skills, although I guess social skills has an impact on friendships, so that would be a thing. No, no wind, but we do have some solar. Yeah, still not that much power. Um, Newton, presumably, you're still doing a lot of research, right? Uh, what are you doing out here? Newton, what kind of jobs do you have going on here? You have construct. Oh, you may have been dismantling the floor over here, um, which may no longer be important enough of a job. I do want to leave Newton's construction on because we don't have enough construction. I don't know. We'll just get rid of the floors. It's fine. You're sleeping out there. Okay, because there's not enough beds. All right. 
Not because you can't afford to pay or something weird like that. Hospitality's not bad. Oh! Three of three. There, we can actually recruit Zandi. Um, had to pay a fee, yeah, but that's not so bad. You're very comfortable. No, that's okay. Too chatty, too smart, and is not great. Slowpoke. But you get some... No, we're going to recruit you, man. Sandy. 45 points of friendship. Done. Chief angered. But that'll be okay. All right. Zandy. Uh, just uh, have a rifle for now, but we're going to make a change. Oh, you still have the guest policy. We'll put you on social drugs. Um, that's all fine. Restrictions. Set you there. Everything is normal. Okay. And then finally for work. Firefight. Patient. Um, bed rest on a two. Hull plus on a one. And one. You're a slow poke. Maybe we won't enable the hauling. Uh, I will turn on the wardening. You don't have much skill right now, but you can practice your social stuff. Oh, it's called rename to entertain instead of negotiate. All right. And yeah, we'll do that too. Um, Slowpoke is slow, but I think we'll turn on the hunting anyway, because you are quite good at shooting. So I think it'll be all right. Construct, you can craft and things. Um, we'll leave the hull on. I'll explicitly bring it down to a four since you are slow. Same thing with the mining. Okay, no, you'll be a pretty productive addition to our group. Yeah, everyone's kind of cranky. But zandy has been convinced that this is the place to be. It's super awesome. I love that we still charge them the 30 silver, though. That pleases me greatly. Uh, that's broken. Not much power. The wind is blowing, which is good. Yeah, we're really on the fringe of the power. I really should just... I hate that this thing was, was blocking our path. Because we had plenty of juice when that was going on. I mean, again, building this didn't help. And put us in a bit of a deficit for a while. Plus, we've got a few other things that have been built since then. And we have a large base. We have a very large base for well, eight people now. Zandy, trying to build some friendship again. Which is fine. Are you... Oh, okay. Now you're removing floors, which is fine. I mean, Slowpoke isn't as bad as, like, a peg leg or anything, I don't think. All right, so somewhere in here we have an Arco something arm. I'd like to check the stats. I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. And even if I did know what it looks like, you guys know me, I probably wouldn't see it. I mean, I'm looking for something that looks maybe vaguely arm-like. Because I assume I have one, which is why it's in the list of possible operations. Um, I guess what I can do is I can make a storage stockpile for body parts. Sounds a little creepy, but hey, welcome to the rim. Uh, clear all. This is going to be a important priority for manufactured items, body parts, all all body parts. There you go. So that way we can keep stock of anything we might have around um, and be ready for replacements. There are some people with a few things. There might be some people with liver things. Okay, Arquitect are outdoors. This is indoors. Look, look right over here. It says indoors when I'm mousing over here. Indoors, everything's roofed. Is this counting be uh, outdoors because of this? Huh. Anyway, Arquitect. Artificial built by an architect, it's strong enough to crush a thick hardware branch in its hand, precise enough to write a sonnet on a grain of rice. Looks and feel like natural flesh, it's harder to damage than plasteel, even if its harm repairs itself over time. Internal workings are a mystery to the human mind. Wow, we might, I'm betting we may have gotten this from maybe something over here. So that is really good. Really good. Now, all of a sudden I'm like, is anyone missing an arm? I think the answer is no. Um... We have some people who are missing fingers. Yeah, it'd be nice to do a spinal replacement over here. Now, we could still decide to add it. If we've got anyone who is... You have no traits, Eve? Oh, yeah, right, of course. They were blank slate. Okay, we've got no one who, like, desperately wants a artificial body part. 
Okay, this is a little... Yeah. All right. Do we just build a new storage thing? Part of the problem is, like, I keep having here is, well, where do I want to build it, you guys? I kind of like my base the way it is. I don't want to shrink down this grazing area. Maybe I'll just build it over here. I think I'm kind of okay with that. And yeah, just move all the stuff over here. Just make it a lower priority zone, and that's going to be okay. Or you could reclaim some bedrooms or something, but I don't want to do that. Okay, um, let's start. Let's move you. Let's move you up here. Do you construct, Anna? Okay, great. Lovely. And... Do I want to... I think I may want to offset it. Rather than have the same wall here. And leave this door where it is. Mmm... No, because we can just have the stockpile somewhere people move through. Let's see. If I were to... Oh, we have a party going on. That's fine. Marble wall. Maybe I could do it this way. Is that 14 long? Stockpiles are pretty ugly. What if I just build a hallway here, after all? Like that. 14. Um, that's 7 by 7. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't hold up. We need a pillar. 13. This ends up with an 11 by 11 interior, which doesn't need a pillar. That's the size I want, except that here it's 14 because I went out too far. Okay, hold on. Let's cancel this shit. Let me drag this in the right place. I guess it just looks uneven because the wall there is already constructed or something. Reinstall that over there. Place with a marble wall. And like that. And I want steel auditors. Steel. There. There. I don't want people necessarily walking through this because it's ugly. So we'll do that. And uh, Nana, you're making flak pants. So I'm going to get you to move this. So I can just fix this. Uh, build copy. Over there. Okay. You can go back to making the plans. Abe's throwing the party. We're gonna go a uh, normal haul on these. Did it take? There it is. I swear to God, I clicked that three times. Roaming mechanoids, wandering around. Yeah, we're not gonna go and hunt down the mechanoids. Party is finished. Word Nana, Nana didn't get to attend because I would have kept, uh, you know, pulling her in for another job. We'll see. Compost is being made over here. Which seems swell. May as well have it going. Colonists needs treatment. Oh, that went away quick. I'm wondering if it was... Uh, well, Eve's in bed there. She probably just needed her uh, anxiety managed. Fred's sleeping on the floor. Oh, I think because this room had... Uh, that that um, bed had already been taken by someone. Um, I can recruit you. We can do a bunch of these. Bloodlust, depressive, neurotic. No. You can. Cannibal, jealous... Photosensitive, really? Bright light, painful. Indoor lighting, bothersome. Happiest in the dark. Mm, no, not so much. <laughs> Cannibal, psychopath. Yeah, let's uh, let's maybe not recruit them, some of those people. Just, I just feel like maybe they're not exactly the kind of person we want uh, on our side. I'm gonna go ahead and, and auto door here and here. There are high traffic areas. There'll be higher traffic if this ends up being a stockpile over here. So we'll appreciate the extra speed. Okay. Build that up. Yeah. I mean, alternatively, I guess I could have just walled this up. But I mean, this was never going to be a long-term storage. This actually might become a good storage for blocks, though. Then we'll move the trade beacon. Actually, I will... Yeah, 
mean, I guess the, the advantage of this size is it covers every corner too. So it could be bigger, especially with the roof support, but yeah, that'll have to be okay. Um, power, they, the stay was okay. Chinchilla fur and things like that, that's good. Power conduit, we're just we're gonna run it around here. For there, we don't need temperature. But the power situation is fluctuating again. And it's not gonna kill anything. Although, you know, depending on the temperature stuff, we could have some problems with our, um, with our, uh, our garden, our greenhouse, if it gets too hot or too cold. But I don't think the power will be hurt long enough for that to really, truly be an issue. Uh, furniture, wall light. One here. I guess I can't put it down until there's a wall. Hello, panda. So Eve is looking a little better. Well, she's just got a ton of positive um, boost, which is good. Tons of positive. Because, yeah, these, these are still going to be here for a super duper long time. We can expect more snaps from Eve. But it goes to show you actually how, how good and, and happy making the interior of our base is. Um, exotic goods dealer. Hit me. Give you a little chat. Oh, my God, you're so slow. Never mind. Do Eve. I think Idney had the, the higher social thing, but we need we need a, a better leg for you. Um, I wonder if we can lower down our, our boomalopes a little bit. Okay, neutromine, no. Components, no. We're good. Hive data? No. AI core and things like that. Mechanoid chips, which we could, we could buy or we could sell. Uh, let's get some glitter world medicine and fix some anxiety. Uh, I, do we still have two people with it? Let's get let's get two. Let's sell a bunch of drugs because we can we can keep making this. We'll do that. I'm tempted to buy plasteel. It's so very expensive. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna stop the HP stuff all together. We'll only keep armor piercing around, and we'll have to change some of our crafting as well, I think. Um, keep the mortar shells, because we might start using them at some point. Uh, wooden foot, artificial clavicle... No, 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 no. I'm going to sell the thrombo horns for a bunch of money. Actually, more money than they have, which is interesting, because we could do that with the whiskey as well, and then all of a sudden... Well, let's keep the whiskey. But all of a sudden, we could look at buying some fairly expensive stuff. We could get some extra advanced components. But I'm thinking it might be worthwhile just buying some Plasteel. Oh, this is all the Plasteel they have. Uh, so we'd be shorting ourselves three silver. You know what? I'm fine with it. I mean, I could probably take something back or tweak something or whatever. But let's do this. We'll take all their silver. We'll grab some plasteel, which will be good for future stuff. Boom. Okay. Man, Itney. Yeah, oh, you're, not, you're right. You're not missing a, um, uh, a leg. You just have the bad back. What are you up to? Well, you're constructing, right? I was going to say, why aren't you researching? Because we need you constructing. And that is kind of true. Yeah, I have to grab the, the blocks from way over there. Maybe I should have just built the stockpile here. <laughs> it would have been closer to the blocks. We might do that later. I don't know. For now, this is going to have to be okay. I think this is fine. One light is up. It'd be really handy, actually. Could you... Oh, it was reserving that one. I thought the blocks were already here. I was like, just finish it, I could put a light. Oh, some of the blocks are here. I see. Well, still, if you do it before it need, it'll be better, because you'll still move faster. So we've got a half a battery charge. Oh, oh, shit, hold on. Health. Um. No, we have Glitter World Medicine. I just bought some! Is it not in our base? Did it get used for something stupid? No. That wouldn't be the case. Where did it get dumped? Is 
very good hold inside. Guys, anyone? Bueller? What all the shit I bought? Because it would, it does get dropped outside the base. I mean, it wouldn't be a million miles away. It would be at a beacon if I had one. I did complete the transaction, right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to buy some more. I don't know. No, we have one. So something got used... But we still have some. I'm just gonna buy a little more. We've got the silver. So Eve, health. Cure anxiety. Oh shit! We need 15 medical skill. Well, alright then. Um Can I bulk change the medicine assignment? Yeah. Don't waste the Glitter World medicine on anything. We'll just keep it around for later, when hopefully we can have someone with a skill high enough. We got 11! You got another 11! Okay, if we get the 15. That's something. Maybe we can practice our skill by uh, butchering uh, prisoners. Hey, Leo! You gonna join us, buddy? Oh, are we... St we're in reduced resistance instead of recruit. I mean, it was fine. His resistance was only broken relatively recently, but yeah, that would have been kind of annoying. What's our timer at? 37 minutes. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're going to put a cut in here. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you again next time. Before I do, though, I need to remember to drag out a power line over here. Like so. All right, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.